I go now to, uh, we have a student standing by, another student. Jonas Dew is his name. Uh, he's a Columbia University junior majoring in political science and economics. I think you're just down the block from, uh, from our reporter there, uh, Not Jonas. Not too far, yeah. Yeah. How are you? Um, and how do you feel about all this? Yeah, so it's been an absolutely crazy day. I'm a student at Columbia, as you mentioned, but I can't even access campus. I live in the dorms, but because my dorm is located outside of the campus gates, I cannot access the dining halls. I cannot access the library. So, you know, hundreds and thousands of, thousands of students at Columbia are feeling this week. Exams are coming up. They start Friday. This is the reading week. This is a week for study, for quiet study. Um, and you see behind me, just at the campus gates where people are supposed to enter and exit, just noise day and night um, from the protesters. And, and that's not even to mention Hamilton Hall, which is right behind me. You can see that they unfurled banners from the windows, um, one saying free Palestine, one saying glory to our martyrs, um, which many which many may take to uh, mean supporting, you know, the terrorists uh, from Gaza that carried out the attacks in Israel. But, you know, the protesters are still occupying there. There's no sign that the NYPD is getting ready to um, go into campus. They're mainly setting up this uh, buffer on this street here, Amsterdam Avenue, yeah. it seems, as a means of controlling um, the protest here. Hey, Jonas, let me ask you. I mean, I, I have no... It seems like most Columbia University students are engaged in this protest slash riot. Uh, what... And, and, and then you guys, you, who want to study and actually go to class, that you're in the minority. That's my perception. It could be reverse. Can you give me an idea what, what kind of percentage we're talking about, who's engaged and who's not engaged? Well, I'll say that it's really hard to tell exactly what percent of students are engaged in the protest because they are so loud. The protesters that are shouting behind me, the ones that are occupying Hamilton Hall, they have a very loud sort of visual and audible presence on campus all the time. And the thing is that people are going in and out of the encampment. Uh, people are bringing their friends into the encampment who are not necessarily sleeping over. Um, so, you know, it's impacted a large percentage of the student body, um, although not, you know, maybe a majority has supported and actively participated in the protest. I will say that it seems a clear majority is sympathetic to the protesters' cause. Um, they find issue with the way the university has, um, you know, arrested protesters who they say were engaging in, quote, you know, peaceful protests, even though they were breaking university rules and ultimately trespassing as a result. Um, yeah. Whether student sympathy lasts for, for the occupation of Hamilton Hall, you know, which there was vandalism and, and just, you know, not entirely peaceful. We'll have to see uh, how that turns out. Hey, finally, Jason, uh, have you lost any friends? Are any of your friends, former friends, you know, in that mob behind you? Or as, uh, you know, as, can you answer that for me? Yeah, well, what I will say is that I have met people of freshman year who I have found to be, you know, reasonable people, people who I have found common ground with, even though we disagree politically. We've had late night talks about big issues in the world. And suddenly, fast forward to my junior year, and this encampment and these occupations are going on. And I see them. They're wearing masks. They're wearing kefias, and they're participating in these protests sort of mindlessly chanting a lot of these things, which many Jewish students find anti-Semitic. So it, it is a little bit heartbreaking to see people that I know personally participate in something that I'm not even sure they fully understand. Well, Jonas Dew, you're on the right side of history. And uh, you can, I think you'll be able to look back on this uh, proudly for what you're doing and what you're not doing. Good luck in school. And uh, I hope you get to finish up at Columbia. It, does, it seems like a dicey proposition right now. All right. Thank you, Jonas. Good luck in the future. Impressive young man. We'll be right back.